All right, well, somehow my camera shut off, but uh, the good news is we can just keep going. So I think when the camera shut off, we were reading about how the um, country and continent of Australia is surrounded by the Indian Ocean to the west, the Pacific Ocean uh, to the east, and the Great Barrier Reef is just off of the coast of Australia. It is the largest coral reef in the world. This means it is the largest living thing on Earth. The Great Barrier Reef can be seen from space. It's that big. It's a beautiful picture of it. Okay. And one cool thing about coral it looks like it's a plant, but it's really a living animal. It's a living, breathing thing. More than 80% of the plants and wildlife found in Australia can only be found there. That means most of the plants and animals in Australia are only found there. They're not in any other place in the world. That includes many poisonous snakes, as well as kangaroos and koala bears. There's even an Australian fish called the lungfish that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. Pretty cool. So here's the kangaroo, koala bear, poisonous snakes, and there's the lungfish. See it okay? Let's see if I can do this without turning it off, I hope. There's the lungfish. All right. And we've got Sophia singing in the background. All right. So, says Australia's Aboriginal people have lived in Australia for thousands of years. It's like their native people. We call us Native Americans. Theirs were called the Aborigines. Aboriginal people know how to survive in hot, dry, outback, that hot, dry desert. They can find food and water in the most unlikely of places. Aboriginal people have a tradition of telling stories. They pass down their history and their knowledge of the land in this way. And in this picture, you see an uh, Aboriginal boy using a boomerang, and the Aboriginal people would use boomerangs to hunt with. And here he's, I'm guessing he's looking for either water or maybe it's a trap to catch animals food with. There's the Aboriginal people. Remember, they're living in the um, desert, so it's really hot. All right, and maybe in the background you can hear there's a thunderstorm coming, so we're just having all kinds of exciting things, including reading about Antarctica. Antarctica is the southernmost continent and the fifth largest on Earth. It is the coldest, windiest, and driest continent. There are mountains in Antarctica. There's even a volcano under the ice. Scientists and some tourists go to Antarctica to learn about this frozen land. So here's a map, um, and you see some symbols that tell you some of the th interesting things. Uh, first of all, in Antarctica, you've, it's near the Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean. Um, you've got different types of penguins that live there, killer whales, <clears throat> humpback whales, and then these are some of the types of scientific buildings that um, have been built there for scientists to study the uh, land and the, and the conditions in Antarctica. Penguins are birds that live in Antarctica. Penguins cannot fly, but they are really good swimmers. Seals live in Antarctica, too. All right. Now, at the end of the book, we have some fun facts. Let's see. Shanghai in China has a professional baseball team called the Golden Eagles. I did not know that. People in Japan like vending machines so much you can buy everything from candy to clothes in these machines. I did not know that. Um, 
The coldest temperature ever recorded in the world was recorded in Antarctica. It was 128.6 degrees below zero. All right. Well, first grade, it's starting to rain. I got to shut the windows. So I'm going to um, close out the book here for now. But I'd like you to think about what are some details that you learned about um, Antarctica and Australia that you may not have ever known before. Hopefully you'll get those in your brain for the rest of your life. All right, thanks a lot. Have a most excellent day. Tomorrow, we're gonna read some fiction stories, some fiction stories about Easter. Cheers. <laughs>